Hi friends, today's topic of discussion is for the subject power engineering that is also called as PEN and it is from chapter IC engine testing and pollution control. So we will be doing one problem okay, from the chapter IC engine testing and pollution control. So before starting the problem we will note down few formulae okay, before starting the problem. So let us start to write the formulae okay so the first formula is area of cylinder area of cylinder that is a is equal to pi by 4 d square where d is diameter of cylinder or piston okay so it is diameter of cylinder or piston and the second formula is indicated power indicated power that is also called as i p and the formula is 100 k P M L A small n divided by 60 and this is in kilowatt. The unit is kilowatt. Now what is K? K is the number of cylinder. Number of cylinders and P M is mean effective pressure mean effective pressure okay and the unit is bar so this unit is in bar now capital L capital L is the stroke length stroke length which is in meter a is the area of cylinder which we have already seen how to calculate area of cylinder which is in meter square and then small n that is equal to capital N for two stroke for two stroke cycle engine so if it is two stroke cycle engine then small n will be equal to capital N where n is rpm and will be equal to n by 2 for four stroke cycle engine for four stroke cycle engine four stroke cycle engine okay so this was regarding like area of cylinder how to calculate an indicated power that is equal to 100 k pm capital L capital A that is area of cylinder then small n which will be equal to capital N for two stroke cycle engine and equal to n by 2 for four stroke cycle engine and where n is rpm okay. So now the next thing is brake power okay so now we will be doing brake power okay so brake power we have two formulae because one will be for row brake dynamometer okay and second will be prony brake dynamometer so first we will be doing for row brake dynamometer okay so first let us see how this row brake dynamometer looks like so this is the spring okay where you can measure this so this is spring and then it has her hook okay then this is row Okay, this is the drum 
okay this is the drum okay and this is the weight where it is here weight so this is w okay this is s okay this is and this is the diameter that is d b d b okay so this is spring balance scale and this is weight that is w and this is s okay so now we will see the formula for bp so that is equal to bp equal to w minus s w minus s into pi d pi db into n divide by 60 and this will be in watt the unit is in watt okay where w is the dead load w is dead load which is in newton this is in newton and s is spring balance reading spring balance reading that is also in newton and then db is the diameter of brake drum so this is diameter of brake drum okay brake drum which is in meter so this will be in meter and capital N that is RPM so this was the formula for BP here the diameter of the rope is not considered if we consider the diameter of the rope then the formula will be okay if diameter of rope is considered okay is considered then the formula will be bp equal to w minus s multiplied by pi d b plus small d that is the diameter of the row into n divided by 60 okay so d is the diameter of the row where small d is the diameter of row okay so this was the formula for bp okay for rope brake dynamometer if it is prony brake dynamometer then what will be the formula so this was for rope brake dynamometer so this is rope brake dynamo meter so now we will see if it is prony brake dynamometer what will be the formula so now we will be doing prony brake dynamometer okay so the formula for bp will be 2 pi n t divided by 60 and this will be also in watt okay so the formula for bp in case of prony brake dynamometer it will be 2 pi n t divided by 60 let us see how this prony brake dynamometer looks like so this prony brake dynamometer how it looks like we will just draw it so it looks like this this is the drum okay and here
okay here it is like spring okay and here you have a nut okay here you have the rods here you have spring and here you have nut and then this goes here you have a hook okay where you have the weight okay so here this is weight and the distance from here to here is l b and this is w so this is prony brake dynamometer okay so here as we have seen bp that is brake power is equal to 2 pi n t and this t is the brake torque t is the brake torque brake torque okay and that will be equal to w into lb okay so lb is here the length of the brake so lb is the length of brake which will be in meter in meter so and this was the formula for area of cylinder this was the formula for indicated power that is 100 k pm capital l capital a small n divided by 60 and this was the row brake dynamometer and the formula was bp is equal to w minus s pi db capital n divided by 60 and in case of prony brake dynamometer the formula is 2 pi capital n t divided by 60 where t can be calculated from the formula w into lb and where lb is the length of brake so this this is formula okay okay now in the next video we will be solving a problem related to this formula hope you like the video we will meet in the next video very soon till then goodbye